and welcome to Reactive Terrain. On this episode, we are delving into science and trying to figure out what is the best top coat for your mini crawler course. Now, I have this debate a lot online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have this question a lot pop up on Facebook and, and on a Sunday when we're online on Sunday. Yeah, so. and, and, and on our lives. But it's interesting when I try to explain how we've done it and people are quite often reluctant because they think it weighs a lot. Um, and I think I think you're going to be surprised how little it does weigh. I think it does weigh a lot if you're using a full sheet. Let's well, yes, yeah, if you're using a four metre by four metre dusty like we do, that's a lot of, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a lot, it's heavy. But when you're looking at the different products really that get used, and there's only a few things that get used, um, I think the strength and durability over the weight is going to be minimal. Yes. That's yeah, why I think this experiment is going to prove. It's going to prove that you using our technique, I'm going to say this now. I haven't, we don't know. I mean, it could be the winner. It could be. It could be. But I'm going to say this now. Using our technique, I think you gain a much better durability, a better form of traction and grippy texture, and it is robust as anything, and it's super cheap. We're going to show you what we're up to. And we've also got a bit of a dark horse uh, in the mix and a couple of ideas that don't get used whatsoever that could also put a bit more money in your back pocket to spend on your actual rigs rather than your course. Uh, also, you've got to remember that most people who are doing this are doing it in that home course. Yeah. This is this is a course where you can come for the public. We do. Yeah, yeah, of course. But the principle the, is the same. It's the same, it's yeah. the same thing. Uh, so we're going to uh, show you what we're up to. And... Uh, Make a mess. Yeah. Right, so we're the other side of the table now, and this is what we're looking at. Yeah, we've been busy prepping for cooking. All the ingredients are out, and uh, we're going to really kind of experiment on what is the best top coat you can use for your mini crawler course. Now, this is what we're going to be coating. This is a real rock. Uh, the reason why we've chosen to do this is that it's going to be the same shape for every single one we're going to be doing. And then what we'll do is once we've taken the mold of it, let it dry, we're going to fill it with spray foam so it's got something to bite to. And then we're going to really, well, we're going to put it through its test. We've got a few um, few tests we're going to throw at it, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> um, all right, so what are we looking at? Okay, so we've got the reactive terrain way. This is just recycled fabrics. Uh, this is from some old drop sheets, dust sheets, but actually you can use an old T-shirt, uh, an old... Towel, uh, towel, anything, anything really. Uh, the thinner the better, but yeah, you could pretty much use any recyclable fabric you wanted. This is the most common go-to. This is your plaster rolls, your little uh, fabric. What's the matter there, G-Dog? It's got a zip on it. Oh, it's a zipper one. Okay, one one will show the, the, the public. Yeah, look, there you go. Yeah, so this is just your, uh, your generic plaster crafting thing. There are... A number of different versions of this you've got to watch out on the length this is just over two and a half meters long in this one by three inches uh, we're probably only going to be needing one the next one is a little secret weapon these are coin to what are you laughing at <laughs> you'd never seen one before no, I, just, no, no, no. I can't wait to be shown on video so these are coin towels i mean how many do you need to put on a rock yeah that's a, that's a, that's a <laughs> lot isn't it? yeah it's a lot okay. to go on a um rock. What are a coin towel? You can get these off Amazon. These are super cheap, about six. Ooh, they're off. It's off. Uh, <laughs> six pound for about a hundred. And this is what they do. And there you go. Oh, G Dog's going to make a mess everywhere. Jumping in. Yeah, I'll just I'll, you know me. I like making a mess. Now because I've squeezed it, I can't find the end. And then it just opens up as a nice, nice bit of cloth. There you go. Like and it's not tissue. It's actually a form of cloth. So it's That's it's pretty, really hard to rip. Pretty endurable. Super cheap. And you can do this using the cement technique. In fact, you could probably buy some plaster Paris and do it with plaster Paris as well. But we're going to be using the same technique throughout. 
and uh, yeah, we're going to be using the cement on this. And then we've got scrim tape. Now, if you don't know what scrim tape is, this is a plasterer's friend. They put this between each joint of a plasterboard before they plaster over the top. They also use this in tape and jointing. You can get just uh, like a paper version, but this is the netted version. And we're going to be doing the same. This is basically a builder's version of uh, <laughs> the plaster of Paris version. So it's, it's a net tape and we're going to cover it in cement and cover over the top of this this is just standard cement nothing fancy just cement powder um there are a few different brands and a few different uh newtons is the word we're looking for but basically that's just for structure you want the cheapest one you can find and most hardware stores this is 25 kilos for under five pound so it's a lot of cement for what you were using if you were only doing a small area but if you were going to be doing a big eight before then you'd probably easily use one whole bag which is going to cost you five pound right are you ready i'm confused excellent there's a lot going on there's a lot going on don't take much does it g-dog <laughs> i've been on holiday <laughs> okay so what we're going to do first of all is take our rock and we're going to actually put a piece of clear bin liner. This is a, a bit of plastic. We're going to place the plastic over the top of the rock so that it helps us remove the coat, top coat. And then, like I say, once we've finished the top coat and it's gone off, we can turn it upside down, fill it with spray foam, and it's pretty much as you would build a mini crawler course. So I'm going to get G-Dog to open this up. And we're going to uh, apply... Well... We're going to use one whole roll. Hopefully that should be enough. It's it's just over two meters, nearly two and a half meters. So there should be more than enough on a roll to do it. I hate this. I don't like this stuff. Look, it looks like, I'll tell you what it looks like. If you're old enough to remember, or you've seen when your grandmother and granddad had like a piano that played itself. <laughs> that looks like one of them note things <laughs> that they used to reel through. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Just... It could be like Braille as well. Yeah, yeah it could be. Yeah. <laughs> it's an old manuscript. Um, right, so G-Dog's going to prep a load of strips in equal things. We don't want too much overhang because we don't want to waste any. So about there, okay. Yeah, we'll get him to strip that down. And then we'll get ready to start dunking in some water and laying down a layer of plaster cloth. All right, so the plaster of Paris or plaster cloth, hobby craft, any craft place, these were $9.99 for six. So we're going to break down all the costs and you'll see them all flagging up on the screen because I haven't done that bit yet because that's all the power of editing. Your job, my not job. Mine. Um, and so we'll break it all down. I'm actually going to be doing this for every square inch. So we're going to break it right down to the price per square inch and that should. Hey, um, uh, 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 Yes. That's a lot of inches. Yeah. <laughs> All right, <Good> bragger. <laughs> right. G Dog, are you ready? Stop prepping. Go for it. Okay. First thing you do, if you've used this before, just dip it in the water. That's it, it's wet. That's that. I wonder that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that, that, that's it. You, ain't no, you don't need no uh, degree for this. You sure? No artistry, sculpture work. I mean, it is easy to use, but it's, look, it just folds and creases. Lovely. I think if you were a junior making your first ever rock crawling course, then this is the perfect stuff. But I think... As you move it up it's the uh, age bracket, I think it's uh, you, there's definitely better products out there. What's that? It don't matter if the plastic stays in there. We can um, no spray foam in that. The reason why we're going to create the same rock is because we're, once they're all dry, we're going to actually get a rig and we're going to test how well they climb, uh, what the traction is like. And yeah, really kind of. I don't know. You're supposed to wring this out before you put it on because that's an awful lot of wetness. Look, I don't know. No, well, that's only giving you one coat, hasn't it? 
That's one roll. That's that one roll. One coat, and that's and that's really, you not, know, it's not big, is it? No, I think I think we we're good. Let's say we're doing this properly, right? We're going all out. I don't know whether many people just do one coat or whether they do two coats, but I think we should do two. I think we should open another one and we'll do another lie all the way over the top of it, crisscrossing, to give it the best opportunity. Okay, let's do that then. All right. All right, that's two coats. So we've got one coat going over one way and one coat going over the other way. And that is it. And now all we need to do is allow this to dry. Now, we're not going to be able to remove this off this rock anytime soon. I don't think, because I think the moment we kind of move that, it's going to, um, yeah. it's going to fold and go all over the place. So we're going to leave that to cure up a little bit. I might go get the heat gun. Might need it. And cook it. Uh, and then we're going to crack on and get the next one done Why that is baking outside in the sun. We've got to get this to a point where we can remove the rock from underneath but not cause too much problems with the top shape. All right, well that one come off pretty quick it only took about five or ten minutes of the heat gun before it was able to kind of hold itself and be released and we just plonked it outside in the humidity that it is outside at the moment <laughs> it's not overly sunny today but it is warm and humid all right up next we are going to be using the scrim tape so another meshed system and what we're going to be doing is uh mixing some cement in a pot and doing the same but instead of obviously dunking the plaster of Paris one into just water. We're going to be dunking this one into the cement and then laying it over the rock to form a mesh covering. Bearing in mind that is a plastic mesh. This is, a, yeah, yeah, this is, this is a plastic, not, uh, not fabric. So it's, uh, we've used this a couple of times to make some extensions and some repairs. It works pretty well, but we thought we'd give it the, a, a good test today and see how good this actually makes as a system or whether it works at all. Who knows, AG eh, Dog? <laughs> <laughs> so for the benefits of the video, we have actually used warm water for this. Now the reason for that is warm water and cement will help it cure a little bit quicker. And it's warm and G Dog's now frantically trying to figure out what he's doing with his dirty stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you if you are, you, if, uh, what? You didn't rap, you... Well, I'm the cameraman. I got oh. a edit, I got a camera. Now he wants me to wrap it. Beautifully done. There we go. Lovely. Okay. Right, G-Dog, go for it. Now, if you are using, no, not you, you crack oh, on. Crack Don't worry on. about it. I'm not talking oh, to you. That's if, warm and... <laughs> if you are not G-Dog, i.e. not a builder and used oh, to handling no. cement. Okay. Don't do this. Please make sure you wear gloves. All right. Oh, not you. Oh, your sorry. hands are well used to it, as, as as of mine. But if you don't want big manly sandpaper hands like us, wear gloves. Right. Lovely. Next. Did you cut enough? I hope. <laughs> They're all getting tangled up. Oh, I can't help. I'm cameraing. I don't even think I've got enough. Oh, he's mucked it all up. He's. <laughs> Did you count how many portions of cement you put in there? How many cups? Excellent. Good job, G-Dog. Yep, four. <laughs> <laughs> Always rely on G-Dog to do scientific. Yeah. Everything's scientific. <laughs> oh, look at the mess. Anybody in the primate industry that has to work with other monkeys like me? <laughs> Been on a holiday. I've missed you. Yeah. I can tell. I haven't had anyone to abuse. I can tell. <laughs> is it, it help the ages out there that can die? I am helping the ages. <laughs> <laughs> right, where are we at, G-Dog? Um, second layer. Okay, cool. Which is a bit... Um, this is a very mucky... Um, You've got to cut them. I, I did cut them, but... Yeah. <laughs> did you forget to measure them? No. <laughs> I just measured them the wrong length. <laughs> Right, I've got to cut these ends off, and then uh, we'll get the heat gun on it. I'm not sure how quick this one's going to dry. Not that quick. Not as quick as the uh, 
Plaster cloth. Plaster cloth. That one's definitely held itself very quick at drying. So pro to that, it's super quick and you can get on it pretty quick. Right, we've got to try and dry this out somehow. I'm not sure this one's going to be very successful. Number one, the plastic scrim isn't very forgiving and doesn't form very well. Uh, and it's kind of a bit weird. But we thought we'd give it a go as an option. Well, we'll see how it works. I'll, uh, I'll dry it out. I'll let you do some cleaning up. Thanks. You're welcome. Right, got a couple of test subjects out here. Finally got this one just to cure just enough um, <laughs> to do this. Classic, we like got one day to do it in, so we didn't need everything to dry quickly. But they'll be all right tonight. We can leave them to dry here. And then, uh, yeah, this one, not great at all. Not compared to the plaster cloth. The plaster cloth is definitely leading. This was definitely messy. I mean, if you had it, I mean, if you could leave it in place, it would be fine through the mess and there's your dog playing with me i like these oh you're they're, playing with your coin towels yeah they're just fun to watch <laughs> i mean if you ever when 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 i was a kid well you probably had them when you was a kid as well you could put these sponges in water and they would just yeah yeah grow yeah they just grow to anything so t dog is just uh opening them up and then we're gonna do another slurry mix uh won't need nowhere near as much cement i don't think for this one uh we used uh, eight caps of <laughs> cement in the last well, one. Yeah, and we do have half of that left. So four. We think it's probably four. No, I think you, you use more than that. Okay. How many caps did you put in the first one? Three? Three, yeah. Yeah, so six. Six caps, yeah. maybe. So you need six of those. Six. Two more. And again, we're just opening them up, wringing them out. Yeah, ring them out because they're too wet otherwise. Well, I suppose it'd be all right if you weren't in a hurry like we are. <laughs> Everything we do is in a hurry. Uh, well, we only have a short time to get these videos done. We're not, you know, rest of the time we've got to work. Build more trucks. Build more stuff. So for all of these experiments, we're just using standard cement. We're not uh, using... Uh, reactive train special sauce uh, <laughs> the postcrete that we would normally then sprinkle over the top which does build an extra hard layer and put some grit in um, but we're actually just going to do it with the single product and just see which is better and which is you know g-dog's making a right mess oh uh, look do you want to swap no no because people see you making a mess and i'll be able to take the mickey out of you See these look a little cleaner than the the uh, scrim the tape scrim. technique. The scrim was a bit messy. The scrim scrim tape is probably not up there with our to dos. We're just using it as an experiment. It might work out. It might be fantastic, but um, who knows? But these little cloths look quite good. Yeah. Now let's get this bit done, and then we'll spin around and see where we're at. G dog's mucky fingers. I'm just trying to get them coated evenly. So it's three per layer, but then you are overlapping Overlaying each, quite a bit with these. With each one. Especially on this size rock. Yeah, so maybe... Just one. One more over the middle, and then that should give us kind of the double yeah. layer. Gotta squidge it in a little bit with the cloth. Yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta massage work, it in, work, work it, it into in a the little cloth. Bit and then But it's it's a lot cleaner than the last method. I mean this is probably going on to the realms of the messiness of the uh, plaster cloth, but Okay. Alright. I'll let you do some rock massaging. <laughs> and that's rock massaging. <laughs> Okay, so we used, uh, well, we actually used five in the end, didn't we? Or, yes. Yeah. Uh, this this looks really good as well. It kind of coats really well. Not overly messy either. I mean, it, it takes a bit like the sheet. It actually absorbs more of the cement than it's sitting on the top. So it's a lot less messier. And um, like I say, these things are cheap and cheerful and great fun for the... Oh, oh. the right. kids can't see it, G-Dog, in your booming... Oh, hollow in, in the power of editing <laughs> oh yeah but <laughs> <laughs> shall i just fast forward this yeah. part <laughs> 
Nice thing about these as well, you can use them to kind of clean up afterwards. Multi-purpose. But yeah, these things are great. These things are coin towels. Really super cool, super nice. Just not, not overly tight woven. So really good to get the fabric mixing with that cement. But relatively strong, you know, that's wet and I'm barely kind of just there we go just coming through now and uh in the power of editing he said <laughs> and they're great for the kids to, have to do while you're doing it because they're just magic they just go time. there we go the other thing i really like about these uh the, the coin towels is that you don't see no holes there's no there's nothing sticking out there's no holes we just used our hand to smear over the top once they're all in place and yeah, and they don't seem to crease as as heavy as the dust sheets, but then they're not. Nowhere near as thick. You know, these are paper. Thin, that, that's they? twenty centimeters by twenty centimeters. That's three meters by three meters. That piece we use. If you get that all in one go and without a crease, you're a better man than I am. Yeah. Um, right, let's get the heat gun on this so we can move it out of the way. All right, so that's the coin towel all done. Now we're doing it the reactive terrain way, using old fabric. Now, this is probably a great way if you've got a huge area to cover. Maybe you've got two or three eight before sheet boards and you really want to do it quite cheap. This is definitely the way you don't have to cut it. You can soak it in big sheets and then drape it over like we've said before if you watch back the video this entire area is one sheet so it is hugely efficient uh, hugely efficient and extremely cheap on a large scale but we're going to replicate it again just in a smaller scale over this rock using the same technique just so we can kind of get a rough idea and a rough cost and really kind of put it through its paces i mean obviously we know what this does We've got it everywhere. <laughs> it's 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 everywhere. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to replicate it on this rock. And uh, yeah, I think probably not going to need that many G dog. I think Three. probably need to trim that down. And trim this one down, and then another one. Let's see how we get on. Well, there's a reason why the doctor had Igor. I wonder if Igor was as bad as G-Dog. I wonder that's how they made Frankenstein. Maybe the doctor was trying to reincarnate his beloved and Igor got involved at midnight. Master, I found some parts for you. <laughs> don't get G-Dog to do scientific, guys. It don't work. Are you sure that's wet enough, G-Dog? Because we know with this technique, it sucks it up really quickly. The weather we do it is going to take 50 million hours to dry. Oh, well, good luck in trying to soak it up with dry stuff. <laughs> if you want to know how to do this trick, check back our other videos. No, this is we've, got, um, this is we've got how to do the slurry. You've got to make sure that it is. it says it's working. He's got to put more water in it. So you don't trust the elders, people. They lie. <laughs> oh, look at that. Perfect. No. Perfect. Old Boris Johnson here. <laughs> well, about this time, um, well, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> what did we say? No. <laughs> Two round the side, one in the middle. <laughs> got it? He's got it. He's, he's, he, he ain't got it. <laughs> All right, so this is done in the reactive terrain way. So we've got, uh, the, so basically what we've done is is the equivalent to all of this, but in the fabric. So this stuff is super thick. Uh, so really kind of doing two layers of this is, it's 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 a lot thicker than that. Okay, it's it's really thick. I mean, when you think of, of, of something like this caliber, and then you've got something that's kind of, paper thin and then <laughs> even as thin as that so the you know the product testing is that yes this is this is lovely but it is very thin this is nice but again it is quite thin and you end up with a lot of holes this is super thick <laughs> and 
you don't really get the holes either because it's the fabric technique right so we're gonna get this one curing up so we can get it moved and then we're gonna leave them over tonight uh spray film underneath so that they've got foam inside them so that they can't just they don't just crumble because that's not a realistic test and then tomorrow we're gonna drive some trucks up them you got a truck eight excellent they'll hold you to that <laughs> maybe six how many's working six oh you got six trucks working at the moment yeah. oh g-dog's new rail record thanks <laughs> So I think, regards to mess, the scrim tape was definitely mess, the mess, most messiest. The scrim tape was. You've seen me mix Really it. messy. Yeah. <laughs> this actually wasn't too bad. Like, it's very limitational. Um, yeah, alright, you're gonna get it on your hands, but as long as you're wearing gloves. But actually, this cloth doesn't allow the cement to kind of disperse too much. So it really isn't as messy. It's probably equally as messy as this. It's just grey instead of white. Uh, and the same with the coin cloths. These weren't very messy at all because actually most of the cement stays on the product. And as long as you're not kind of covering it with oodles amount of water, it won't do anything. But the plastic scrim tape, yeah, that was very messy. And I'm not even sure that's going to be a good contender. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, nice, quick and simple. So let's kind of have a bit of a recap and then figure out the pricing on each one of these what we've done it on so here you go a breakdown of how much it costs to cover the rock in each method and which one was the lightest and which one was the heaviest so it's the following day and we're back at the reactive terrain been uh g-dog was uh doing a two-hour build last night which took how long? <laughs> he was just enjoying it. It was savouring the moment. No, I was just frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to... Uh, given these time to dry, they haven't had a full 24 hours. I've had about... 12. Because <laughs> we're too impatient. We only have this weekend to get this done. Because uh, next weekend's another another, another thing. So uh, I'm going to spin the camera around. Now I've got these in weight order. So lightest to heaviest. And we're going to have a little look at the finished product. Then we're going to drive a rig up them and see what the grip is like. And then we're going to poke them with a stick and see what their strength is like. And then we might get even more aggressive. So here we go. This is the lineup. Um, so we've got the plaster bandage, the coin towel, the G Dog mess. <laughs> well, it is, isn't it? This is this is just an abomination, ladies and gentlemen. Don't use scrim tape and cement like this. It might work, but it didn't really do much and then the reactive terrain method which is recycled rags and some cement now they've all got the same cement used except this one because this is as it comes out and this is you know a lot not a lot lighter than this in fact they're very very close uh but we'll explain why both of these will actually need to be a bit heavier in our opinion uh this one forget uh and this one is the heaviest this is reactive terrains one uh they've all had just one single soak and coat so we're going to pull them up and we're going to have a look to see how easy they are to climb with g-dog's super duper truck all right we just must say one thing that yes. we have under all of these oh yeah they're all spray foamed spray foam so at least they are solid we've yeah them yeah they are all so you know they are that, that, that's why this one kind of went a bit funny. The spray foam actually was stronger than the method <laughs> and it just imploded on itself. But the rest of them held up pretty well. They're a little bit distorted. Like I say, we are rusted it, but they're all of the same rock. So they all have the same quantity and value. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get a rig. G-Dog's hesitance yeah. in... Yours what? went over this rock. Yeah. Mine's got to go over. Well, I went over the original rock. It might be quite light. I think as you move up to it, I think this is going to gonna move. So let's give a little test. 
No pressure, G-Dog. That's all it is. He's on camera and everyone gets to see what he does. Oh, no, it, it held its own. Am I it all there? Look at that. Excellent. All right, so, you know. It held up yeah, well. Traction was absolutely fine. Didn't have any problems. Stayed in place. Nothing bent, nothing moved. All right. Nice job, plaster cast. Um, the only thing I don't like about these is all the holes. Like, it's not very organic. And it's very thin. We'll explain in a minute. We're not going to put and poke these too much just yet. Right, next up is the coin towel. Same again, G-Dog, although it has slightly formed a different shape. I have to say that this definitely performed the best in holding the shape of the rock that we casted and dried able to kind of move it the next best one was actually the cloth one uh because it was just thicker and better and harder wearing but it didn't hold as well it kind of pancaked a little bit uh we didn't give these nowhere near enough time to take them off the uh the rock uh but there we go right you ready i'm ready he's up let's go All right. Again, not much issues at all with that one. Yeah. Got over the, uh, the the little wheel rut as well that this one has created. Not just underneath here. There's a nice big wheel rut. Uh, but it pulled up okay. Didn't cause any damage. Well, not yet. It's only a, you know. A little tiny truck over the top of it. A little tiny truck. All right. So that's the coin towel. I do like this. This, we were just saying about the finish. So this has got quite a lot of holes for me, that would need a lot more work and definitely another coat of something to make it more organic. This needs to go in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> this this actually is quite... I really like this finish that the yeah, coin towel has given. Uh, it's only had one coat. I, I will tell you, it's quite thin. It would need another coat over the top. Um, but it's a really nice finish. It looks rock-like it's very little effort would need to make this look good uh and again with the reactive train method it looks like a big boulder look we can't leave this one out we're not gonna you're gonna it's gotta have a go you gotta go it's gotta go well look it's almost formed a nice little ramp <laughs> so <laughs> uh i mean like the top is the top is covered pretty well and it's it has gone hard um it's it's a lot harder than the other two um even even where it's kind of deformed it's it is hard uh where it's taken um but the cement did not like the plastic scrim it would take a lot of work to get that to look good but up and over no problems at all yeah. so it created a roof but yeah, it's um pretty hard compared to that one or <laughs> that one. So, okay, up next is the reactive terrain method. Not much speed control over it. All right. Good can, driving. Yeah, good driving. <laughs> if you can hear gunfire in the back, background, we're not in a war zone. They're clay pigeon shooting or probably pheasant shooting, maybe. It's coming up to... Some sort of shooting. Yeah, they're definitely... Uh, definitely. I imagine there's clay pigeon shooting. Uh, right, so all four of them, including the monstrosity, held up absolutely fine. I mean, they, all, truck they all work as an obstacle. Yeah. They all work as a covering. They haven't fallen apart. Uh, so we're going to do a bit of a friction test and see if there's any wear and tear going to happen. The doctor shall see you now. I, I didn't <laughs> see that doctor. <laughs> All right, so we've got a drill. Got a uh, cheap and nasty off-the-stock rig. I think they've come off for your red. The yeah, red one. little red one. Yeah, little yeah. red one. And we have put a dirty great big bolt through it. And we're going to spin this on the uh, the 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 material and see what it does to simulate it's going to simulate lots of trucks 
weeks. Yes, in short period of time. Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to say we didn't do this test because a lot of people will take spray foam and just put paint over the top of it. In our opinion, well, look. Okay, let's just... Yeah. Even a bit of paint on the surface is not going to stop the wear and tear. You're going to flatten it. You're going to just have foam coming through. So if you are going to use spray foam, then you need to cover it. Uh, we used to cover it with just cement. So polystyrene. And, and so there is a technique on one of our early videos. Uh, it does take a bit of time, but it is doable and it is super durable and super strong. Trust us. We only just tore it down and we have to take hammers to it. That's how strong it is. <laughs> right. Right, we're letting loose G-Dog with the drill. It's a full battery G-Dog, so how, how long are we gonna give it? Uh, this is 10 seconds? Okay, we're going for 10, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, all right. Ladies and gentlemen. Full bore. Full bore for 10 seconds in Perfect. one single spot. Can you, hand, can you handle that? Well, in, in a single spot. Just, just let it rest. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. All right. Uh, I'm there. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. There we go. All right. Well, we've got tire shred. It hasn't done anything. It's not. It's not thinned it out or anything. Excellent. Uh, I thought that would have. Um... Yeah. Well, that's um. It's uh, getting a bit worn on the tire, but that's good. All right. Up next. That's the plaster cloth. <laughs> Right there. Can I we have, have other one? Can we have equal wear, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Up next is the coin towel. In three, two, one, go. Four, three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, there's a bit of wear on there's there. There's a little bit of wear. So the tissue has just come through. It hasn't really caused too much thinning, but it's definitely, I think it's kind of Take taken the, the cement off. Yeah, it's kind of worn the fabric through. So yeah. Okay. Well, that's to be expected. We know that is quite thin and they've all had equal coats. Up next. <laughs> Uh, we don't even know what this thing is anymore. Well, we just call it a rock. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't think it's even worthy of that. All right, <laughs> find a good spot somewhere. And in three, two, one, go! <laughs> okay, go! <laughs> well, it gripped well. Because <laughs> you were struggling to hold it in the spot. Yeah. And um, actually, it's... It's rock take hard. Take the top surface off. It's take, yeah, but underneath it's revealed the rock hard. Yeah. All right, good. Okay, so there you go. So in comparison to the coin cloth, you were, you were able to hold that in yeah, yeah. In, in position place. quite yeah. a lot. The same with this. You held it in position. It didn't really do it, but you were really struggling. Yeah, it was gripping. It was, it was gripping. Really gripping. So for grip texture, this, <laughs> the monstrosity, seemed to have it's better to grip. Better grip, yeah. All right, brilliant. How's the tire holding up? Um, oh, that's all right. That'd be a good tire by the time you finish. You like to do that more for? <laughs> it would have been warm. All right, up next. It's a bit warm, <laughs> it's it's, warm isn't it? it is warm. <laughs> up next is the reactive tray. Now, these are still a little wet. You can tell by the different colours, but we don't care. No. Right. Pick a spot. Are you ready? Ready. Two, one, go. Oh, he's fighting <laughs> I can't. <laughs> time. Time. <laughs> That's it. Time. <laughs> I want to blow the tire up. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I was hoping to have a tire explode. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's just see if there is anywhere at all. I can't see nothing. <laughs> no, I think there's a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of fabric coming through. And this is, this has got other, you know, they've all got the same amount of cement used to do the job. Um, 
Was that you looked like you were struggling a little bit? I, yeah, that, I had to use both hands. <laughs> so the traction on this product here is undeniably 10 times better, 100 times better than this. So when you're looking to build durability and traction, well, yeah, <laughs> the reactive terrain cloth method works. We, we always knew it was going to work. We always knew it was going to work. Ah, we didn't blow the tire up. No, I really wanted to. Oh, well, should we try? We can, I don't know if I don't know if it's going to. I mean, if anyone's going to do it, they'll do it. I mean, you're, I think you'll run out of battery before you um, blow the tire up. Oh, you're a fool. I still have three. <laughs> All right, D Dog's determined to shred I the want tire. To shred right, the tire. let's shred the tire. Right. <laughs> oh. Pushing really hard on it now. <laughs> oh, he's done it. He's blown the tire to pieces. We've definitely got wet. Oh, that, that, look at that. <laughs> yeah, look at That's that. That's beautiful. There's yeah. tire debris everywhere. And we did go down to the well, cloth. It's gone down to the cloth, but. It's still rock hard because obviously it's layered. So yeah, you've gone down to the next one, but <laughs> like it. Yeah. Next up, we're gonna beat the out of them. All right, G Dog. So we're gonna drop the hammer, G Dog. Okay. From a set position. Scientifically. Scientifically, and we're gonna drop it. Smack bang into the middle of each one to see if there is any damage. Okay. First so, up, first up plaster is cloth. a plaster cloth. Now, right. where's... Uh, Nine, 900 is there, so that's... That, let's go... That's 500. Right, that's where's six. Where's 600? 600, 600 yep. is there. Right. So you want the bot, the hammer, that bit of the hammer at 600. There we go. That's 600. Yep. So are we there? Yep. Right, let me... Let me put the camera down. Well, you do that and I'll do that. Right, so we're dropping the head of the hammer at 60 centimetres, directly impacting the rock. G-Dog, are you going to get this on target? I hope so. Okay, in three, two, one, drop. Ooh, it bounced. Okay. It bounced. A little bit of a dent there. It did, did create an indent. But I saw it, it bounce, but it didn't do any it didn't break. To break. Yeah. Okay, good. Right, up next. 600. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Right, up next is the coin cloth. Right. You ready, G Dog? G Dog. At right. 60 centimeters, go for it. Oh, that bounced as well. A okay. bit of flaking. A little bit of flaking. Yeah. Yeah, but it bounced and uh, didn't really do. Hasn't broken it, didn't leave a dent in it. This no, one kind just... of formed back. Yeah. Okay. Right, up next. The um the it of the family. Six hundred. Right. In three, two, one, go! Oh, that's solid. Yeah, but... the, the difference between that, that didn't, that didn't bounce off, did it? No. That just, that hit it, and, uh... Lost a bit of dust. It just shook the dust off it, I and mean, it didn't really do anything else. It just, but it, it didn't bounce like the other two. No. That bounced off, that bounced off. Yeah. That kind of just... That's sad. Yeah. All right, up next. Reactive terrain. Let's have a look. Don't want you cheating. Oh, I got a look. Yeah. 60 centimetres. 60. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh. Well, it had a bit of a dent. Now, it will deep because um, it's still very soft underneath this one. <laughs> it was the last one. Before. It was the last one. But it didn't. <sighs> a little bit of dust off the end. But no cracks. No nothing. I mean, I... Should we actually just do that scientifically properly? 
What, you mean like... And do it on a lump of reactive terrain. Well, like that? Yeah. Okay. So... You know, it, you know, it don't really do a lot. <laughs> okay, so, so far, they're all relatively good. I, do you know what? I'm pretty impressed with just the hammer drop. Yeah, I, I mean, thought... yeah, some of them are obviously going to be a little softer. It's just spray foam underneath. Um, some of them may not have gone off... Quite cured, yeah. We yeah. know how long things um, take to cure. <laughs> but overall, there's no big chunks flying off. There's no big cracks no. appearing or anything like that. So, you know, it's pretty good. Right. Let's take the plaster cloth first. So, you know, this is two coats. So one layer going one way, one layer going the other way. Uh, but it hasn't been painted or anything like that. So I imagine if you put paint and, and grip on it, you know, that would then be classed as your wear layer, and then this is your base layer. <coughs> the other lot don't really have, they, they are a combined layer. So really, they are your base layers, um, because it's the same process as this, just you're adding two components, this is already done for you. Uh, this is definitely nice and light, so if you were having a small modular course that you needed to kind of move around, you know, this would would work yeah it would you know yeah. it's, it's it's a nice format to use which is why a lot of people use it but the question i get asked or see a lot of all the time is how do i make my course more durable how do i do this how do i do that well really the only way to make this super durable and add more traction to your course to enable you to do stronger lines and better climbs is to coat it in a layer of cement which then you're jumping up into the realms of weight and you're going to be matching the weight of some of these that have already got that layer on it. Yeah, without having to spend the amount of money you would just to get the cloth. Yeah, just to get the cloth. You know. And the thing with this is that it's even still quite soft. It's, you know, it's still spongy, it dents, it dimples, you know, and that's just two coats. So, you know, if you really wanted to kind of have something that was super durable... You know, you've got to add quite a nice thick layer and then it does get hard. Up to the next one. Yeah, so this is the coin cloth. Now, this is an experiment that we decided to do. <laughs> we didn't even um, know we were going to do it. And I really like it. It's as a finished product, if you were to go. Yeah, so these are, the, you know, one of it's this. the same. The same principle. This exactly is this has got plaster and cloth. This is cement and cloth. So you, 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 there's no holes. There's nothing to kind of worry too much about. And you can paint that straight away. You I mean, could it's... paint this straight away. Um, it's pretty durable. It's gone off. You know, it the same as the plaster cloth. It is a little spongy in places. Look, you can see it kind of dented and dive in there. But overall. You know, where it's thick, it is pretty hard. And what I like to do <coughs> this one is the fact that once you've moulded your, your rock or put it out wherever you go, you could just smear it and you would and get, it that, looked, yeah, it, get it, that nice the, finish rather finish, than the holes. Yeah, yeah. Your finished product is pretty quick with this. Yeah. Uh, and we, we use, you know, just three caps of cement for this. You could, if you wanted to, once you've done this... Do your layer over the top, and then this would be, you know, pretty bulletproof. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this this turned out nice. This is this is really nice. Super cheap as well. You get a hundred tablets for six quid, six pound. <laughs> you know, They're quite a square, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah, exactly. You get um, uh, like I think they're, they're like two, twenty centimeters by twenty centimeters square, and then it's just some old cement. Everybody's, you know, everybody go down to Builders Merch and buy a bag of cement. I bet this if you, I bet if you ask the mate, you know. they've probably got an old bag of cement that's still all right to use in the garage. <laughs> you know, you do wouldn't need a lot. And again, this is light. It's not as light as the plaster cloth, but that isn't finished. As far as I'm concerned, that needs, that needs another, another layer. It definitely needs to get rid layer. of all those holes. You've got to put something over it. Paint won't do that. Uh, paint's just going to seep into the holes and just keep creating them until you build up 10 layers of paint and then maybe then you wouldn't get no holes so you definitely got to put something else on that to make it look 
what we would class as a good looking right. roller course. Uh, however, this, the only reason why I would do another coat on this was purely just to strengthen it up again. Durability. Just to really kind of make sure that it is pretty solid. But overall, this, hands yeah. down, if we were going to build another modular course <laughs> uh, that we were going to take somewhere, I would use this technique. For, as you say, for moving it around, that's that's the best one. Yeah, absolutely. So, well, super light. To the elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, I mean, come well, on. This was a good I experiment. Mean, you know, we were like, what else could you use? Let's say you're, you're digging around in the garage, you've got a whole bag of cement and some scrim tape. I don't know why you'd have scrim tape, but, you know. <laughs> you if never you're a know. Hoarder, you, yeah, might you never know. But it's a really cheap product. They're like a few quid for like a 50 meter roll. Uh, the problem being is they are plastic and that definitely causes a bit of an issue because I remember you get it wet. Yeah. It just wants to do what it, it wants to do. It's not very flexible. It's quite rigid. It's really only designed to go in straight lines. Yeah. On a wall. <laughs> on a wall. But, you know, I mean, I've got to, I've got to be honest. I mean, look, it's not the best text, you know, it, it hasn't stuck. But as we said, we've got to give it a go. We've got to give you that option. So. But, I mean, where it has gone, like if you were taking the time, it's definitely that it was definitely the most messiest process yeah. out of all of these. But it's still solid. It is absolutely rock hard. Yeah. Uh, other than the powder, because it's powdering, uh, which, you know, that, that you're going to get that, uh, always get a top surface of powder come off first. Uh, but where it's gone off, where it has actually worked, it is rock hard. Yeah. Not that heavy at all. You know, really not very heavy. Uh, it, it, it's probably like one and a half times the plaster. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I either. wouldn't recommend doing it. No, it's um, no. it's very messy, <laughs> but it did work, kind of. Well, yeah, it yeah. it built a rock. It built a rock. <laughs> okay, now up next is uh, the last one we did last night, uh, which it hasn't actually <laughs> cured properly underneath. This is. Recycled cloth, t-shirt material, drop cloth, whatever you want, soaked in a gravy of cement and then laid over the top. And this only took like three sheets. This stuff's quite thick. Yeah. So we didn't use the, the same amount of volume of cloth as we did um. for all the, are those. Uh, and it is rock hard. I mean, it really is salt. And... You know, you saw how much traction this had compared to the plaster cloth. G Dog was able to to keep that wheel <laughs> consistently in the same spot without any effort at all. This he had to use both hands; it was bouncing oh, all over the place where it's trying to get traction. Yeah. Uh, we noticed that with this one as well, uh, with the with the tape and jointing method. And yeah, we busted through here. But blimey, did you have to give it some? Yeah, I, did. I mean, that's us burning a tire out on it, <laughs> like blowing a tire out. So, uh, and regarding weight, just uh, pass us. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, for those two there in comparison, I would say this is maybe twice or just under twice as heavy as this. And like I said, this still needs another coat. So it's not quite there. Yeah. You could get away with that. That could be your finished product. Literally, you could and, you could call that done. And the thing with the cement idea is that even if you didn't paint it, you've got different colours, different textures, different. Absolutely, it looks, yeah. It will always dry. This looks like a bandage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will dry with mottled colours. <laughs> some areas will dry quicker than others. Some will go slightly greyer. Some will be slightly darker. So it really will give you a bit of a mm. a, a, a mishmash of colours. So you wouldn't have to seal it or paint it and really what i wanted to prove was that yes when kind of going along the cement and cloth route the cloth that we've used is 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 almost like three four times thicker than the bandage cloth uh but it's not three or four times heavier uh the cement is a hundred times more durable a hundred more times more stronger than plaster but it's not a hundred times the weight yeah yeah do you know so it's uh, the question I get all the time is that, oh, I don't really want to do that because it's going to make it super heavy. Well, it doesn't make it super heavy. Um, your your cloth would play a big part in this uh, because that's where the weight's going to be held. Yeah. 
if you use t-shirt it's a lot lighter it's a lot thinner so don't use your mum's towels no because they really no, are no, exactly yeah uh no. so there you go four maybe three examples of of what you can use that will work on your crawler course and for cheapness i think it's it's the coin cloth I, do you know what for me coin cloth yeah yeah it's a good, good yeah quality if you're after product. something light and durable super cheap that i think would be my go-to now yeah. is the coin cloth material because it is a really thin fabric and you you can get a really nice thing but if you are after something that is going to outlast your course outlast all your mates coming down get to points where for you you can pull good lines because you've got traction then unfortunately guys it's the reactive terrain way this yeah. is definitely the way forwards uh, so yeah I, I, and just a bag of cement which is going to cost you under five pound or eight dollars whatever it is over yeah. over the pond and you're gonna get a three meter by three meter or an eight before by eight before sheet done in just one bag so that's that's eight dollars for an eight before sheet and some recycled cloth. There we have it. There we go. Let's smash them up. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna take it to the extreme. We did like a little 60 centimeter drop with, you know, a few ounce hammer. It didn't really do much, did it, G-Dog? No. I think we need to up the ante. Yeah, yeah, come on, what do you got? <laughs> How much? Oh, then. What is that? It's a 50 pounds weight yeah that'll do it i don't know what it is in kilos but it's heavy it's heavy let's smash something up g dog you're not wearing no steel toe caps i wasn't expecting to drop weights from a height <laughs> <laughs> how quick's your uh, yeah. reaction we'll find out okay this is about i reckon you're probably about 60 centimeters high that's crutch height so in three two one go oh it's a boom. Nice slow motion on that one. Oh, yeah, it's flattened it a bit. It's flattened it, but I have to say there is no cracks. It hasn't cracked. It hasn't no. kind of punched it or gone into crazy. Yeah, it's definitely a flatter form. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, that, that went quite well. All right. Excellent. <laughs> right. Now, the one thing we need to remember is that this doesn't have any other coating. It's just the plaster. This has... It's hardened coat already within the uh, the design. So we expect these to kind of just smash and explode. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Ooh, maybe oh. not. Oh, okay. Well, it did. Oh, I heard split. it pop because yeah. I heard the. Uh, it split. The, 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 well, that, that's the polis. Uh, uh, sorry, that's the spray foam just expanding and then suddenly just. But actually, I'm very impressed. I'm like super impressed. God. Well, that that surprised me. The uh, coin cloth held up really well, really well. What? <laughs> and do you need to? Do, I mean, that one looks like it's already had it anyway. <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be done. It's gonna be done. We gotta give it. A, we gotta give it a go. <laughs> right. Okay. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of debris. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you don't drop stuff on cement. <laughs> but it didn't it's, it, it, it's still it's still survivable. I mean it's still it has it I mean it's out of shape, but it broke all the top layer off. Yeah. But it's still held together pretty well. Yeah. I mean, it is. That one is definitely bin worthy. And a reactive terrain. I expect this one to do similar to the last one. Uh, all the cement's going to crumble and powder up. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I mean, it's still really soft. I mean, we had to put a rag in it to stop it from getting. <laughs> on the on the table um but there's not not a busting lot coming off it no and there is no splits or cracks it's a little cracked here but okay actually 
Not bad at all. I think they all held up pretty much identical. Kind of flattened. Obviously, you didn't get no debris off that because it hasn't got any top coat. You got very little off of that one. I was surprised. Yeah, that one really surprised with the coin cloth one. And the reactive terrain one, well, I expected it to shed a little bit of dust, which it is doing, but it didn't split or crack. So there you go, tried and tested what material to use on your next mini crawler course build. I think after seeing that, no one's going to build one. <laughs> yeah. well, find why a not? Different product. You know, yeah, no, I look, there are probably a number of different products you can use. You know, we've seen tissue paper, paper mache, you know, none of these would work at Reactive Terrain. We had to completely reinvent what we people was doing because we have real water, <laughs> real mud, and all of those great stuff that's on the course and your plaster cloth would not take that. It would just re it would just re react and become soft and squidgy again and that would be it. Plaster of Paris, all those type of things would just yes. go back to their original form, big oozy pile of mesh. Good. Cement and plaster cloth does not. Any surprises? Um yeah. Um I think for me, the bandage cloth, you know, what was durable, it's it squashed a little bit. It's a great product. But you've still got to give it another layer. You've still got to do I something. I think that's the it. thing that I don't see enough of. I think people kind of put their base, they put that down, and then they try and paint it with sand mixed in with, with paint and stuff like that. Yeah. But it, it's not going to have that... Um, in, constant durability and it really won't last that long no you, you see them online don't you, you see and you see the, the ridges, wear marks the and wear stuff marks like that stuff. yeah if you're really going to want to put uh you know say you've got a course already and it's already with all these plaster bandages uh the, the best coat you could do on top of it all is a is a mortar mix mm. you know just just neat cement and water and you don't have to do a thick layer just a la enough to to cover all the little holes and lumps and bumps and that will improve your course a hundred percent give you a lot more traction and 10 times more durability as but well it is the most expensive way to it is it, it, absolutely you yeah know, because I, I, I couldn't warrant doing a course even six foot by six foot with that stuff no no absolutely not i think one of the most one of the surprises is the coin cloth the coin cloth works extremely well yes yeah, um, I, I, it is thin, but it held up all right. I mean, it was super thin compared to the reactive train, which is, thick. you know, it's thick because it's just recycled fabrics. It's it's nowhere near as thick as that. And it held up really well. Yeah. And gave a good quality finish. Yeah. Gave, gave a great finish. Like, yeah. like you, you know, for as cheap as they are, you could do maybe another two layers on, on top of it. Yeah. Because it's super cheap to do and it would still be super lightweight. And it would give you a great finish throughout your whole course. It smooths down really well. You know, the plaster cloth is great, but you do have to combat in big areas all the creases and the wrinkles. And you've really got to kind of have a good creative flair for that to try and make them look more natural. Yeah, I think with the... the, the sorry. Coin cloths. I think with the coin cloths, the, the, the thing with that is you can lay it, you can get a brush and you can stipple it into where you... Yeah, whatever crevices and cracks. Yeah, you've it's got, very leave, pliable. It is very pliable yeah, compared to even our product. Yep, of course. You know? The plaster cloth is the quickest drying method yeah. by far. Within a, just a few hours, that was gone off. You were able to move it, and you probably could have painted it. Yeah, the cements will take twenty four hours. If not you know, longer, if not longer, longer depending on the weather and where you're at. So yes, they aren't very quick. But then I guess, you know, you're getting a good finish of a product that's going to outlast. You, you'll get bored of your course before it starts wearing and <laughs> having problems. Yeah, I think it was a good test. It was. We enjoyed it. They enjoyed it. Yeah. So if you're new to the channel, then welcome to Reactive Terrain. Make sure you smash that subscribe button before you move on to the next video. And if did you, you want to, uh, you, you're always on the <laughs> easy close. He's there, he's there. He's there. Oh, I'm gotta, waiting. Got to get that button in. Uh, <laughs> make sure you add some comments below. We'd love to hear what you've got to say on this yeah, topic. Even if they've got a new way that we've not even Absolutely. Or maybe you've got a way you want to test. Yeah. We'll test it out for you. So put it in the comments below. Uh, maybe you want to use... Um, 
endangered. No, no, don't use that. Um, <laughs> maybe we'll use banana skins next time. Could be. Maybe we. That's a lot of bananas. <laughs> that's a lot of bananas. <laughs> but there you go. I hope this video has been educational. I hope it has helped you out decide what route you're going to take next. And really, uh, there's not much left to say because, no. well, he would have forgotten everything he needed to say anyway. So on that note, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Hit that like and button. And that notification bell. And, and I'll, I'll see you next time. time.